Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well on this Labor Day weekend. Today, we're up at our favorite summer camping spot and we're gonna be doing some testing. And basically, it's an ESPIT fuel cube against the trioxane compressed fuel. We'll be boiling 24 ounces of water for our test. And basically, we're here to see how long it takes, how many cubes it takes to get the water boiling. We do have a pretty evenly matched battle. Our ESPIT cube is 15 grams, and the trioxane is also 15 grams. For our test, we will be using the ESPIT dual fuel stove. Pretty nice kit too, let me tell you. Very lightweight, not the lightest. It comes in at 15 ounces. That's not too bad. Actually, it's just a, a hair below that. But let me show that to you. Very nice kit. You have a lid with handle. This is aluminum, of course. It does come with an alcohol stove, Espitz version. We're not going to be using that today, of course comes with the pot, handles, actually has measurements on the inside. Guys, every company should do that. And here is the burner plates and the stand. And as you can see here, you can just drop the alcohol stove right onto the inside. Have about two inches of clearance between that and the cup so you get maximum heat. And here you have the solid cube burner plate. And for this sake, it just goes in like that. Very cool. We're setting up our stove now, getting all of our components ready. It is kind of windy today, so I will be using a windscreen. I'm gonna use a piece of tin foil for this. But before I do that, I'm gonna tear a small chunk of this out. And I'm gonna use this inside of my stove here and this is basically just to help out with the mess. Espit cubes and fuel cubes leave a ni nasty little residue so this makes cleaning up a whole lot simpler. So as you can see there just kind of cover up the base and that's all you got to do. We'll start with the Espit fuel cube Okay, time to measure out our water. 24 ounces. And that's right on the line. I will be putting a lid on this since we got one. And there is our windscreen. Very basic, but efficient enough. It's not too bad today. We'll go ahead and take our lighter and we'll get started with this. All right, guys. Well, we were doing our recording. We were about six minutes in. The water was getting pretty close to boiling. We had some small bubbles, lots of steam. And of course, you know, I said I thought I heard thunder and a, a thunderstorm came upon us. So I had to end the test and basically bolt back to the house here. So, uh, you know, I just checked the weather. There's storms on the way, so we might as well do this test on our porch here. Um, you know, it is a little bit more controlled conditions because it won't be as breezy as it is on top of the mountain, but hey, what are you going to do, right? So maybe you guys will be hearing some thunder as these storms could come in closer, but uh, we'll go ahead and get our test going right now. As you can see here, our setup is the same. Same stove, we have a piece of tin foil set up here just to, uh, you know, make cleaning up nice and easy once we burn these fuel cubes. I do have tin foil windscreen, 15 gram ESPIT fuel cube, 24 ounces of water, and the lid. We'll get out our fuel cube here. Go ahead and line it up. Of 
course, be careful when you're holding it. You might not be able to see that, but it is burning. And just as before, we're going to put that right on here. There we go. Put the lid on as well. And our timer has started. So there you go, guys. Here's a view of the Espit fuel cube burning away. Pretty good heat displacement, too. That is a nice cook set. All right, guys. We are now at 4 minutes, 20 seconds. We'll pop this off real quick. We know it's not boiling yet, but this is just to see how we're coming along. All right, we got some small bubbles coming up from the bottom. We got some steam. Definitely need more time. That's to be expected. This is what the fuel cube looks like after five minutes and 30 seconds. Definitely good heat displacement. Very even. I spoke about the thunderstorms that were headed this way, and here they come. You can actually hear the rain coming. I'll show you. It now has been seven minutes, 10 seconds. Some pretty good steam. We got some small bubbles in the bottom coming up. We'll let this keep on going. The tin foil windscreen that we made really, really works well. There's a slight little breeze coming in with the rain and that is uh, protecting it 100%. So still we have very even heat flow down there. That's great. The clock continues, we're at now nine minutes and 20 seconds and we'll take a look here getting some pretty good boil action little bubbles still let this keep on going there's the fuel cube it's about half the size as it was when we started still doing pretty good not as much heat uh, coming off of it you can you can tell the difference now with esbit fuel cubes from my experiences, once you hit about the 10 minute mark, the heat production from the cube itself goes down dramatically. So it'll be interesting to see if we can actually get water boiling with just one cube, especially with a rolling boil that we want. We probably will have to put in another one. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's a nice little roar coming from the pot now. We're at 12 minutes. 45 seconds. We're going to take this off just briefly just to show you what we're working with. Now it's really starting to get there to that boiling time. Our cube is very, very small, what's left of it. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we can actually get this going on just one cube. I think it's going to be really close. This is what the Espit cube looks like now at 13 minutes. Still heating away. These Espit cubes do last a very long time. And that's one aspect to them that really makes them awesome. Trioxane definitely does not last this long, even when they're the same weight as you guys will see here. Um, if you're trying to use these for fire starter, you really can't go wrong because they last so long. Even if your materials are really damp, I mean that's enough burn time to dry it out, so that's pretty impressive. I'm actually cheering for the Espit. Come on, get that water boiling on just one, you know? Okay, guys, we are now at 15 minutes. Just a small little piece of that cube is left. Let's take a look. Okay. Not boiling yet. We're going to have to put in another one. We now have the new cube in the middle. It's burning away. Now, of course, if you had a uh, 
bigger stove, you can actually use two of those cubes at once and get the water going. But with this stove, it's just really one at a time. Okay guys, we are at 17 minutes, 50 seconds. Starting to get along there. Not a rushing, rolling boil yet, but as you can see, very close. With that new cube on there, you have full flame coverage on the bottom. It's actually coming out of the, the sides here. This water will be boiling here in just a couple minutes. We're now at 18 minutes, 17 seconds. We are now at 19 minutes and 50 seconds. And that is a full rolling boil. Not bad guys, not bad at all. Okay guys, we got our 24 ounces of water boiling with two Espit cubes and it took roughly 19 minutes. Uh, there's some give and take in there because it started rolling boiling with the lid on. So for the sake of this experiment, we're gonna say 19 minutes. Um, and that's pretty good. The one good thing about the Espit cubes is that very little mess. The cleanup is really, really simple. So that's definitely a plus in my book. Just taking a little bit of water and washing the bottom of your pot is really, really nice. I will dump this water out now. I will let the pot cool off. I will uh, basically start again with trioxane. We just got done with our 19 minutes of espit burning. And you can see what this looks like here. And uh, I'm gonna go wash this off and I'll show you what it looks like once you get that taken care of. But that's not bad. All right guys, just cleaned up the pot here. And looks pretty darn good. It's definitely cooled off. We're ready to do our test. I love the mountains. Here it is, pouring the rain again. Beautiful. All right, our first test with the Espit fuel cube was completed in 20 minutes. It took two cubes to get 24 ounces of water to rock and roll. That one cube was 15 grams each. So uh, now we're ready to do this with trioxane. This trioxane tab is also 15 grams exactly. Very different looking. So. Whew. whole lot easier to light. That just instantly takes off. Go ahead and put our water on. We'll put the lid on. And we'll put up our wind uh, block. Very different burn too. You can tell that it's a completely different uh, set of chemicals at work here. Take a look at how this one burns differently. This is much more, almost like an alcohol sort of uh, burn. Very blue. There's no smell to it. So far, it looks like a pretty clean burn. We shall see. We're about two minutes, 10 seconds into it. I'm not gonna check it. We know that it, it needs to go at least five minutes for it to really start getting some boil action, some steam. But, um, you know, I figured that I'd mention that when it comes to any sort of fire, you know, I highly recommend that you don't, you know, cook inside your tent. Make sure that you have plenty of ventilation. Especially with chemical agents such as this, you definitely don't want to be uh, breathing this crap in. Definitely getting some good uh, heat production off of this. We have some of the flames coming out of the sides, just like with the Espit Cube. Of course, with the Espit Cube, it was more of a fatter cube, and this one's more of a flatter. So, uh, so far, so good. I'll go ahead and show this to you guys one more time. Our burn time is now a little bit over three minutes, 20 seconds. Very, very clean burning so far. Good heat distribution. Now with this test, the moment that I see that the flames are no longer licking the bottom of the pot is when I will add more fuel to the fire. So. When I see that the flames are no longer touching the bottom of the pot with this trioxane, we'll go ahead and add another bar. Right now we are at 4 minutes 16 seconds. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the water is looking like. This is 4 minutes and 50 seconds. We have some small bottoms, bo bubbles on the bottom, some steam, just like I expected. Let that continue. We just had to put on another cube and that was right at the 5 minute mark. So, you know, like I said before, this stuff burns really, really quickly. 
the Espec cube lasted for you know over 13 minutes and this one trioxane the same weight 15 grams lasted about five minutes so you can see right there that you're going to need at least three trioxane tablets to get a rolling boil i'll go ahead and show you guys the water we are approaching the eight minute mark it's seven minutes 45 seconds take a look steam bubbles carrying on okay guys nine minutes 10 seconds we'll take a look Slight bubbles coming from the bottom. Very comparable to the uh, Espec cubes. But of course, we are on our second trioxane. All right, guys, we are now at 11 minutes, 10 seconds. Starting to get that similar sound. Starting to uh, boil a little bit. You guys can see right there. Okay, we'll put that back on. Um, our trioxane is do still doing pretty good. It's almost time to pop on another cube. So we shall see if we can actually get this to boil on just two. I doubt it. We'll see. This is our second tablet burning away. Once it hits that level right there, it will start to dissipate pretty quickly. So I definitely have our other tablet ready to go. We are now at 12 minutes and 40 seconds. Pretty good uh, bit of rumble coming from the pot here. We're about to put on our third trioxane cube. This little thing is uh, about to uh, pitter-patter out. The flame is still licking the bottom just a little bit, but you can see that it really is starting to dissipate. So, 13 minutes, take a look. Getting very, very close to having a good boil. So, we have our next trioxane cube. And I will put that on now because the flame is not touching the bottom. Putting these on is a little bit trickier than the uh, Espec cube because they ignite instantly and you don't want to get this crap on your fingers. We got that on there. Sadly, I accidentally knocked the, um, um, the tin foil off. Knocked it to the side, but that's how it goes. So let me see here. The time-wise, we are now at 14 minutes even. And take a look. Oh yeah, almost there. Just a little bit longer to be fully rolling boiling. So that actually did it at a much quicker time. So I'm pretty impressed. That's it. Full boil in 14 minutes. Let me show you guys here the difference. The trioxane actually provided a much cleaner burn than the Espec cube. Very little to clean up there. I'm pretty impressed with that actually. This is what this looks like and as you can see I kind of knocked the uh, uh, tin foil out of the way there. So I've got a little bit of clean up there but that's not bad. Definitely easier to clean up the trioxane than the Espit. So very impressive. Alright guys, for our little experiment we're done. The results are in. I do apologize for the rain. Hopefully you guys can hear me uh, just fine. I also apologize for the cars that are passing by, but you know how it goes sometimes. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now for the results, the Espet fuel cubes, it took two of them, 15 grams each, so 30 grams. Um, it took 19 minutes to get the water to a rolling boil. Now something to consider is, is that for this test, I would pop in the next cube once the flames were no longer licking the bottom of the pot. With Espet fuel cubes, they burn longer. But after the 10 minute mark, they don't necessarily produce the same amount of heat as they do in the beginning. Now with the trioxane, they would burn all the way through until the point they were practically out. So it was all hot and then out. So there is a difference there. And that is something to consider with these results. So, you know, the trioxane, it took three tabs and it took only 14 minutes to boil. Not bad. Actually, that's a whole lot better than I originally thought. And, you know, part of this uh, difference in time is because the trioxane burns out so quickly. So, instead of having to wait as it slowly dissipates, I put the next one on. Because, like I said, it, either, either it was burning or it was on its way out like that. So, of course, take this information in stride and into account those factors. Now, let's go ahead and discuss smell and cleanup. 
With the trioxane, there is no odor, no smell, nothing. Um, also, very little cleanup. There is hardly any residue left on the pot after that. Take a look. Maybe you guys can see that. Very little. Uh, very easy cleanup, too. Um, the Espit Fuel Cube stinks. Those white ones, I've had, I have the peach ones, and they don't smell all that bad. But these white ones really do smell. And, uh, I mean, it's, I, I can smell it big time on my porch. And I've gone ahead and cleaned everything up, washed everything, threw everything away. So this is just a residual odor. And, you know, you might not want to cook this inside your vegetable fuel unless you're going to want to smell shrimpish. Kind of a cleaner. It's kind of an interesting odor. But, um, but yeah, definitely there's a stink to it and a lingering smell. And the bottom of the pot, as I showed you, was absolutely covered in a, uh, it's kind of a liquidy substance. The good thing is it does clean up very, very easily. I, I would not count the, uh, the cleanup factor as a negative because it's so easy to actually take care of. Just a little bit of water will rinse that stuff right off, so that's not bad. I also need to point out that this little Esbit stove rocks. This is really, really nice set. I really like this. I've had this for a while, and I really haven't been able to find the time to actually get out and use it. But I am very glad that I did, because I like it a lot. The burner and the stand, man, very, very cool. Very lightweight, and as you can see there, very little substance that is a residue that's left over from the trioxane that got on it. Using a piece of tin foil on there really helps out when it comes to clean up. All right, guys, for this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review and our test with Espit Fuel Cubes versus Trioxane, you know what? They're both winners. And now, for me, they're both equally good as Fire Starter. Espit takes a little bit longer to get going, but once it does, it lasts a very, very long time. Trioxane, super easy to get going, does not last as long, but seems to produce more heat than the Espit Cube. Hmm. I'm definitely walking away impressed with the trioxane. It's cheaper, there's no odor, no cleanup. Of course I had to use a little bit more, but it did it in a shorter period of time. So, hmm, something to consider. Now, in the future, I will be doing a review on this awesome kit, including the alcohol stove, right here, that comes with it. But overall, you can't really go wrong with either one. Espit cubes are fantastic. Trioxane's fantastic. One thing I should mention is I've had some people talk to me about the shelf life of trioxane. And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. Some people will say that after a couple of years that it uh, loses its value, it crumples up and becomes worthless. I personally uh, have known people, some of my buddies who have trioxane and have had it for, I mean, seven years, may maybe even longer, I'll have to find out. But it's still going strong. And you know, I've also found the same conclusions on the internet. So really, I think it all boils down to the packaging. As long as there's not a hole in it, it should last a very long time. Um, of course, I have tons of it, so I'll let you know in a couple of years, all right? <laughs> for this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, thanks for tuning in. Guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see each other soon. Be well.